Hey everybody, it's me, Laura Nalvin with Add a Pup Dog and Puppy Training. I'm here with Nina. Oh, yes. I wanted to show you a quick little game. I call it the elevator game. Um, I'm sure other trainers have other names for it. It's sort of a ubiquitous game. Uh, it's about impulse control. It's also a good way to teach your dog to not be a little sharky dog. If they're really excited about treats. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. That's why I've got it in vertical video uh, syndrome here because I'm going to back up and show you what it looks like. So it's teaching a dog to be chill. When a treat starts up here, I can be chill from there and then I get paid. And I can be chill from here to there and then I get paid. And then from here to there and then I get paid. If at any point they jump up and try to shark it out of your hand, you just take it away and you try again. If they keep sharking, then it's telling you that uh, you're making it a little too difficult for them. You're going a little too fast. Maybe you're coming a little too close and they're just not ready for it yet. But we're trying to teach them to remain in a sit, maintain their composure while the goodie ah, is lowered down to their face. So it's about impulse control. It's also a way to teach them, um, like I said, not to be so sharky. I have cut up leftover pizza. Judge me. It's fine. <laughs> Nina loves it. Um, I just saved one and we cut it up in a little bitty bit. So this is a pretty high value goodie for her. She has played this game once or twice before. She's not very sharky, um, but I'll show you the mechanics and show you what it looks like. And the kitty cat's here, of course. You ready, baby? Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Make sure you're in frame, okay? Thank you. Okay. So I'm gonna start on the 10th floor. If she can maintain a sit from the 10th floor to the 9th floor, I'm gonna zoop, go ahead and pay her really fast, okay? You could use a clicker for this, you could use your marker. I use my verbal marker, um, but it doesn't really matter. The important thing is she's getting paid for the behavior that you want. You ready? Yes, good job. Make sure I'm breaking it up a little. So I'm gonna go to the 8th floor now. <laughs> she's trying to offer behaviors. Yes, good job. Sound effects are good here. Uh oh. <laughs> Sit. Good job. I'm gonna go to the seventh floor now. Cool. So I'm not gonna pay her for that. I'm gonna try again. Go to the seventh and a half floor. Good job. So I'm not gonna bark at anything like that. She just made. The decision I didn't want her to make, and that means she gets another choice, another chance to do it. Good job. If she keeps making the decision I don't want her to make, that's my fault, and that means I'm making it too difficult for her too fast. Good job. Picking up on it. Sit. <laughs> Regular sit, thank you. Oh, she's trying to figure out what I want her to do. I just want you to sit still and chill out. Good job. Let's try a little lower. You're running out of the goodies. Good job. Good job. Sometimes little short dogs have an especially hard time with this because it takes an eternity for the goodie to come to their mouth. So they might be, oops, they might be popping up. And when they pop up, the teeth start chomping. Good job. Got one more. Thank you, good girl. Good job, that's what we want. We want her making the decision on her own to remain on the ground. If she can make the decision by herself, I set her up to make that decision, but she's making it on her own, then that's the neural pathway we wanna build. Helping the dog do it themselves means that in the future you won't have to help them because they're just doing it on their own and they know how to do it by themselves. Uh, so we gotta make it easy to start with. This isn't really a behavior or anything. I mean, not very often is a treat gonna be coming like this and you need your dog to sit. Like I said, it's just an impulse control exercise and it's a fun little game to give them that practice of maintaining their composure even when something is lowering into their space, okay? What do I have coming up? Um, game on starts May 6th? No, that's how dogs learn. Starts in May, it's on the website. Uh, the next games night is April 28th. It's the last Friday of every other month. We're going to have the spring theme. It'll be fun. All sorts of stuff coming up. Oh, Fit Fido. Fit Fido starts April 23rd. Come meet Nina. She likes to come. That's her Sunday fun day. 
Uh, it's Sundays from 3 to 4. It's an eight-week course. You can do four-week and then drop in as it suits your schedule, or you can do a one-day drop-in if you're not sure. Um, your dog will like it. Your dog will like it, I promise. It's a lot of fun. We go to different um, city-owned parks, and I set up an obstacle course, and we just run around. We play some training games and stuff, but it's about trying new things and tuckering your dog out and getting some exercise and getting fit together. I need that, don't I? Yes. All right, guys. Have a good week. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions. And keep in touch, okay? Bye-bye.